you mentioned, well, your your brand coach Anton wants to ask you a little bit about uh, your, your your Titan. Coach yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, coach. Um, well, we've talked about you know your story of how you you became a coach and your success, but uh, I think a lot. I don't know if a lot know that you've you've built your own empire. I I would <laughs> say with Titan. Uh, I think I know it started off with like just a barber shop before, and then. Now it's, you know, I mean, you have your own brand. I mean, we have the Nikes and everything, but, uh, you know, having Titan here in the Philippines has been really, uh, I mean, revolutionary, I would say, or something like that. Because, <laughs> you know, I always go there and I see it. And, right. uh, I mean, uh, t- t- tell us about, you know, you know, how you started and w- what do you envision t- Titan being in the coming years? I'm waiting for yeah. my shoes, though. I would like uh, that. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> see what we can do. Um, yeah, Coach Anton, thanks for that question. You know, Titan is really, you know, special. And um, when, when, when people ask me about it, I always say that relationship is still the number one, um, you know, aspect on how things can develop for you um, in the future. And I say that because um, when I was when I was playing still, um, my main partner at Titan, his name is Dennis Tan, you know, he used to work for Nike. And, um, you know, because I was a Nike athlete, we built a good relationship with each other. And I was a type of player that made sure that my relationship with just Nike in itself was was close and i made sure i made the gesture gesture to always one attend all the guestings and whatever that they had planned two i always made sure that i went up myself to pick up the pairs that they were giving me it wasn't you know it wasn't like that it was always i go up you know i talk to them because i think building relationship is the number one thing and did I know it was going to lead to where we are now? Of course not. Um, so Dennis Tan comes in, you know, come, comes to me one day and says, I have an idea. And this all credit goes to him because Titan is his vision. And we all just as partners just kind of help, you know, you know, uh, that, that snowball when it got rolling, just helped it kind of get bigger and bigger. Um, you know, there's always that vision of having, a specialty store where it's just all basketball. Think about it. There's never really been just a store dedicated just for basketball. As much as basketball has been so popular and so loved by the Philippines, right? We always say in every corner of the Philippines, there's always a basket, right? Makeshift basket that they that's made out of, you know, wires and, and, and wood, you, you know what I mean? Garbage can, whatever. So, but there's never been a store that's dedicated just for shoes for basketball. And that's where that concept came up. So we added the barbershop because we, we took a page from how things are in the States. In the States, a barbershop is a community. And you go to the barbershop and there's a lot of trash talking, right? It's fun. You know, you, you, you watch coming to America, typical, right? Your typical um, barbershop where you're talking about athletes, you love your local teams. You talk about the game last night. You discuss basketball. That's what we were trying to do with, with our barbershop is have kind of, you know, a, a place where a guy can come in and just be like, you know what? I have an hour to kind of chill. You can watch the PBA on TV. Slam magazines are available. And then your barber, you can discuss basketball with, whether it's UAP, whether it's, you know, ABL, whether it's the PBA. So, um, we wanted to create that and it's really transitioned to how it is now. And we're just really, really happy with its growth and the development. Um, you know, and I, and I will say the last thing I'd, I'd like to mention is we've never forgotten, um, you know, when it comes to, when it comes to selling shoes, we've never forgotten that young 13, 14 year old who just loves basketball that's going into a store with his, you know, dad or his grandfather. And, you know, dad, I want to be able to get a pair of shoes and we want to make sure it's accessible and it's easy for him. Um, So we've never forgotten him. And then we've never forgotten. And I think this is where the expansion has, has, has gotten bigger. 
we've never forgotten where where our place in where where our place is in regards to Philippine basketball and the development of it. So I'm a big part in that. I'm a big part in the grassroots program with our academy. I'm a big part with our, you know, DVT and our team, you know, TMG guys who are representing us. We want to make sure that that we're not forgetting the future. And we want to make sure Titan is a part of somehow in a small way, the development of that. So when you focus on the development of the sport, when you focus on the development of community, uh, when you when you focus on the development of relationships and supporting just, you know, kids, um, girls and boys in their love for basketball and coaches as well, then then the business part is easy. You know, it, it, it you know, you, you end up being a place where they go to naturally and it's without second thought. It's, you know, let's go to time. Let's do this. Um, and there, you know, I'm really proud to be part of it. And, and you know, it, it, we have a group of partners and I want to give them all a shout out um, because they run the everyday stuff. They run the business each and every day. Uh, we have a group of young guys who, who understand the market, who understand, you know, um, how things are, you know, during this time compared to how it was 10 years ago. And, and they really make it easier for us, you know. So um, we, we never forget that story. We're always trying to tell a story. So, yeah. Thanks for allowing me to share share and talk about time. It was, it was nice to hear. And I must say, no bias, no bias uh, that you guys have done a really, really good job with this time. Warning on Coach Paulo Layud for delaying the game. Technical foul on Coach Anton Altamirano for resentment to a call. Coach Charles Chu out of the playing court. Coaches unfiltered. No reps, no techs.